Hi, I'm Drinkers DPC, and this is Cameron Simon. Ah, f me. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> he's that <honest. laughs> They're like, yeah, he's a fighter, he's not that smart, it's fine. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Drinkers DPC, and this is Cameron Simon. corner a mixed martial artist tonight making his professional debut 75 foot 8 inches tall weighing in at 134 pounds fighting out of Pretoria South Africa Cameron Simon so I started at the young age of 12 and I started with kickboxing and um, I was lucky enough to get sponsored by uh, Q for Fuel, that's also now our main team sponsor. Um, at that stage they were not in contact with Team CIT and then when they wanted to sponsor a bigger team and like a bigger gym as well, they asked me if I wanted to join Team CIT and then immediately I was so excited because I knew the name and the I knew the name and the people that trained there, so I said, yes, I, I definitely want to do that. And that's when we got in contact with Jikas. Um, that's when we started training together. He was also my coach um, from the start when I was an amateur, when I joined C Team CIT. And we started uh, doing K1 and then slowly moved over to competing in MMA. And um, yeah, now we're at the stage where we can train together every single day, which is so awesome. Um, he's definitely the hardest worker in the gym and it's something to, to look up to and something to compete against. There's no one that puts in that many hours as him. So I'm very fortunate to have him and the other guys at Team CIT, people that I can look up to and learn from every single day. There's nothing, I, I never leave a class not learning anything. So I'm very fortunate. I was a 19 year old making my debut six months after high school. Um, I mean, exactly where he was. He was a youngster making his debut. Uh, a lot of people saying I was too young and that I'm too young. I mean, as a 19 year old to compete with 30 year old men, it's not the easiest thing. Um, you have, still have so much to learn. It's, and I mean, strength wise, you're just so far behind. But I mean, if you have it, you have it. And uh, I mean, that's what's great about uh, what we have here is I was in the exact same position that he was. And I did make a lot of mistakes and I did learn a lot of things. But that's the great thing about, about this is there's so many things that I can teach him just through experience, not because I'm smarter, not because I'm better, just because I've been there. I know exactly where he's at in his career. I know exactly what his thought process is because I was exactly right there. So you know what fights to take when, you know not to push it too hard when you, when, when, uh, you no, know, because once you start winning fights, like, I mean, he's on a two fight streak now, you start feeling on top of the world and you do and like you know you feel unbeatable and, and that's great I mean that's how you should be feeling but you know there should be someone to make the smart choice for you and say listen whoa even though you are like experience still plays a big role in this game and let's uh, rather take a smarter route and uh, build you up to to where a place where we don't pick up unnecessary losses we don't pick up unnecessary injuries we don't have to wait for an injury before you start doing the prehab and that's stuff that I that I, I can you know, teach him every single day and it's, it's great for me to be able to do that because he listens and he takes in and he believes in me just like I believe in my coaches and my mentors. So I mean if I tell him something he does it and, and that's great because now we can twinkle out the mistakes and one day he's going to have someone in the same positions that you know, he's going to be the mentor to someone and there's going to be even less mistakes because even the little mistakes that I didn't even encounter and he did, he's going to be able to to crinkle that out as well. So I think this is the this is how you get second and third generation fighters, and that's how you get the greatest fighters in the world. Is 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 the like me transforming, trans, transferring all my knowledge on him, and him doing the same to others. And uh, that's that's a pretty cool relationship. That it's something that inspires me. It's something that makes me want to work harder because I know he looks up to me when I train. As long as I can inspire him, then that's uh, a mission accomplished for me. You know, if you look at him, he doesn't look like a like a tough guy. He doesn't look like the toughest dude. I mean, if you're if you're Cameron Simon, oh, you're oh, what a fantastic shot to Simon! Shut down, Cameron! Cameron Simon, welcome to the Extreme Fighting Championship. 
when you when you join the team there is a you need to earn your spot so you're gonna go through a tough few rounds I, I think definitely the first month was definitely the hardest because they know you are basically fresh meat so